Okay, did that work? Motherfucker. Okay, did that work? Oh, finally. All right, let's get started. So you want to be a VTuber? You want to make it in the VTubing scene? Well, this is the stream for you. Here today, as a VTuber, you're going to find out, obviously, how your beloved commander has done two years of research, and it's finally going to bubble to the surface. Each and every one of y'all are so curious on how to make it in this industry. Let me iterate right now. What is an industry? An industry is a business. VTubing is seen as such. It is a business. It is an industry. A well-oiled machine. You must find a way to benefit it while benefiting yourself. This is a business. It should always be treated as such. We have 12 subjects to cover here today on this chatting live stream. And later on today, there will be a gaming one. In these subjects, you're going to learn of the 12 top subjects that I'm going to talk about. How you can make it in the industry. Let's get started. Subject one, have a plan for success. And see, and I see so many VTubers in the scene fall not having a plan. For VTubers to have a plan to their success is your number one priority. A plan. Is needed. It is always needed for a VTuber success. To have a plan is the most important thing. You should always, as myself, as a 3D VTuber, I had a plan. Obviously. And my first step was starting out on YouTube due to my former living situation and my issues. In that living situation, from a horrible internet, to a house falling apart, to that of depression, anxiety, anger, a lack there of feeling like he's a man or a human being. This is uh, why I had to come up with a plan. Every VTuber needs a plan for their success. I had to build mine around YouTube first, doing cheeky little animations in a one-dimensional setting. Then I moved, instead of going to 2D, to 3D. So I went third dimensional with my art in a third dimensional art form. You find out the scene, third dimensional art forms are far more achievable than two dimensional. Two-dimensional can be quite complicated as you not only have to be good at drawing two-dimensional art, but you also got to find a way to literally take a deep for real blade and go and cut it up to pieces and put it in the tracking software while modifying the tracking software to an over a complicated degree. 2D can be very complicated, but very rewarding. 3D is simpler. You can have software such as Vroid Studios, or even that, or possibly hire an artist. We'll get into how to protect yourselves from scammers and artists in the VTubing scene. As there's tons of them, as Mike Dungeon Master wanted to enter the 2D dimension scene, and he got, well, scammed. 
That'll be the final lesson. But here we go. A plan is always important. What do you need for the plan to succeed? One, you need an idea. You need an idea, right? Two, a way to execute it. Three, an overall art or image of what your V2, what your VTuber wants to look like. Four, an identity for the VTuber. This means a name, a background, a history, and even that of a title. Look at my title, right? I've been struggling trying to find a good title for my VTuber. And yet, I finally did it. Commander D VT. The Noble Heroic Mercenary, a 3D male VT. This is who I am. I am a Noble Heroic VTuber. Only four VTubers. If you think I'm a Noble Heroic VTuber for real people, you're seriously deluded and even that of delusional. I am a fictional character on the internet. You don't know what I look like in real life at times, or maybe you do. Maybe you met me in person and at a convention. Maybe you met me on the streets. Maybe you know who I am. Maybe you don't. Who cares? Errs in my regard with that. My beliefs are a little bit different compared to most VTuber beliefs, but that's where you have to respect theirs. Now, obviously, you have a plan. You just executed it. You have your first model. You also need tracking software. There's several different tracking softwares you can get for free, but the free tracking softwares are very strict and limited, and even can cause glitches such as legs lifting up, arms going out of control or spasming, certain overall props are flying around on the overall screen, and various other issues. This is where you need to keep a fine eye on 3D tracking. You find out a lot of these 3D tracking softwares are behind paywalls, as they are const you constantly pay them to have a, a rather healthy tracking feature. I myself is currently going with AvaKit. This is an AvaKit. AvaKit is a software that you can download from Steam and pay $12 a month to remove certain features. I am not sponsored by AvaKit. Let's get that clear. This is the software I'm currently using. Beforehand, I was using Animes. That is tracking software is really limited and it doesn't have this. Arms moving, chest, hips, face, moving, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. It doesn't have that. I went with AvaKit because it's kind of new in the field and they're getting better at their work. They currently don't allow 3D props. Where are my props? I hate this. Always keeping an eye on tracking software as a 3D VTuber is important. Now, moving on. We need to go to subject two. So you have a plan. And you're finally executing it, right? How do you execute it to your future success? Well, this falls under the job description of the VTuber. Do you want to be a LooTuber? You want to enter the LooTubing platform? Maybe you want to be a video gamer. Maybe you want to be a drama tuber. I more likely went in more of a parody direction. I cover drama. I cover video games. I even overall, well, and I quote, do animations with VTuber assets. This is like obviously showing the type of VTuber I am. Every VTuber needs to have a way to their success and how to execute it. 
This falls under knowing your strengths and weaknesses as a VTuber. You need to understand what you can and cannot do to succeed in the field. It will benefit you in your future, where you also need to constantly improve it. Improving your skill sets and tracking and model and the whole nine yards is very important to the success of a VTuber, especially 3D. Subject 3. How do you get started and, and continue the road you've taken and just or do you decide to graduate and reevaluate your career? I see a lot of VTubers enter the scene thinking VTubing is a fun, hilarious time to literally just have people go <laughs> throwing money in their direction. Basically, that's what a lot of VTubers think. No, it does not work this way. VTubing in the industry is not supposed to be a fun, quirky time. It is a job. It is a career. It is an industry. You need to treat it as such. If you don't, you'll end up being eaten by the proverbial digital shark. <laughs> Obviously, you get eaten by Galgura. This is where you literally have to have a spine tougher than steel, willing to stand your ground and overall fight off your attackers, your, your accusers, your stalkers, while also, oh, and I quote, well, kind of like building a system to prepare like others for it. I created the C e emergency network. Right? This is supposed to inform y'all when I'm under fire or anyone under er, my wing is currently under fire on the platform. In this industry, obviously, doing this shows a level of responsibility, but some people may say it just shows insecurity. I say it shows responsibility and that of an overall understanding of the industry. This is very important to prepare yourself and your or future community of these issues. You need to build a system of self-preparedness, awareness, while also keeping an eye on your attackers. These creepazoids are everywhere. They are stalkers online that are willing to lie and slander and twist your career to their own nefarious needs. Never be an online stalker. VS is a horrible old, old person. That, uh, people that you should never overall have to deal with. But they are out there. They follow you. They accuse you. And they twist your words and lessons. And even that of content. For their own twisted nefarious needs. Because they are a parasite. These people are leeches. They're leeching off your success because they have none of their own. They have no life, no hope, no future, no success. They don't understand anything, and they just want to overall all suckle off of your moist tata. If you're a female or it's a male, they literally just want to suckle off your overall nuts. Prove me wrong. You know I know you can't. So, in the long run, there is a term for, like, cancellation for a VTuber. It's called graduation. This is where the VTuber lays down their VTuber and walks away. At times, you find out they not only lay down their VTuber and walk away, but they go somewhere else, or they go to a new model, Obviously, to make it in the industry, and you hear their voice once again. I will mention, this has happened more times than not. You need to be tough as steel, very creative, and have an individuality that stands out from the rest. As this industry is filled with so many content creators, and even that of VTubers. You need to find your own act 
own design, own look, and own shtick and history to succeed. If you don't, you, in the long run, have no choice but to graduate as people will accuse you of stealing somebody else's design. This is, um, this happens, especially with Shy Lily. So far, this hasn't happened with me. And I'm so glad. Kind of why the reason I chose the humanoid look, right? I chose the humanoid VTuber. Because, well, nobody else does. Now, subject five, people are leaving you because your act is no longer good or entertaining and they no longer enjoy your model. How do you improve? Well, this falls under if you made the model yourself, you're going to have to improve the art yourself of your model and change it up. What about, oh, it's your act. You know, it's like the way you present yourself. Nobody finds you entertaining or engaging or understanding you. This falls under reevaluating what you've done and applying your overall online career. This is very important to reevaluate everything. I tried to be something more of a male YouTuber, something that's not accepted anymore. At one time, it was. Until other VTubers ended up in the male landscape, ended up destroying and desecrating this for male VTubers. This is something that has been destroyed by many others and disregarded as Males can't be loot tubers anymore. I feel like this is hugely wrong, but I cannot change this. I have been improving myself and redirecting everything about my character and or person and VTuber in the process. Subject six. You have your new model. You have uh, your. You have time to plan your re-debut. How Im and how important is it to live up to the hype of your re-debut? This falls under living up to the hype. You need to hype up your re-debut. I have suffered with my new model's re-debut in a way because uh, another content creator that has a glass house. As, uh, yeah, like, let's just say my gla that person's glass house ended up trying to uh, literally flatten me. <sighs> and they tried to do rookie crushing. Rule 11, one of the important rules of the golden rules, rookie crushing is not allowed. It happens... But this is where you gotta be tougher than others. And tough it out. Sometimes you have to redevelop your model, do touch ups, design changes, the whole nine yards, and make it look different. Look at what I did with model eight. I ended up putting more chest plate armor. I ended up obviously, like, making it more highly detailed from the chest or like the uh, power or like draining suit you know like what's underneath my jacket and pants is a power inhibitor suit that drains off my e power because i'm not in battle anymore i don't know what to tell you i have no way to expel it so doing touch-ups on your model for your new hype if of your re-debut or just Overhauling it in general is important while hyping it as best as you can. Live up to the hype of your re-debut of your new model. This is something I have struggled with. Subject 7. But coming as a successful streamer, how do you keep a good, clean image 
while you're under fire. This is a tricky subject. Yes, it is. You find out in the VTubing scene, you constantly fall under fire. There is VTubers out there that have end up making some design mistakes, act mistakes, personality mistakes, the whole nine yards, even that of content mistakes. This is where you have to overall realize that, oh, now you're going to have attackers. You can either, one, tough it out and expose your attackers and tough it out. Two, graduate and create a new VTuber model. Three, graduate and just overall leave. This is where, like, in the VTubing scene, it's survival of the fittest. The one that can stand out most of all will truly overall show how strong they are and how they can make it in the scene. I am turning but an outlasting my I stalker and exposing him with me, Ashi, in general, but not Geo, as Geo has been busy from behind the scenes. All right. Now, you literally survived your attackers. Oh, by the way, I killed a fake moist critical. I don't know what to tell you. One of my proudest accomplishments. So you just destroyed your first attacker. How do you reward your community for good deeds and help and helping you survive? Some people do it with merch. Others do it with like telling you great job. Me, I did it with my first comic. I literally gave them a comic on how I defeated Devin Foxy. This was a reward to all good cadets that stayed out of my battle for their own protection. And I thank them for that. And a comic showing how Devin Foxy and his little children failed to destroy me. Others do it by shout outs. Others do it by subscriptions to their Twitch accounts. There's so many different ways you can reward your community for good jobs. Subject 9. How do you get deals with merch and sponsors? This is more falls under your success as a VTuber in the industry with your image and or act. This is takes time. You won't get deals, sponsorships, or even that of merch right away because there's a lot you got to do. You possibly won't see merch or deals like this until your third or fourth year as a VTuber. Heck, maybe even your fifth. It depends how much you struggle and how much you overall fall under fire under false accusations. Your image is important to sponsors and even that of merch. You should keep that in mind for future sponsorships and deals. Subject 11. Protecting yourself from scammers and fake artists. They are everywhere. Like I mentioned before, my dungeon master ended up getting in contact with an artist that ended up developing a piece of art while also putting a background in the piece of art. When you make a 2D model as an artist and you sell it to someone, you never put in a background. When this happens, obviously, this proves you have been scammed out of your money and your time. My dungeon master was scammed in this way as he contacted an artist slash rigger and they said, oh, I will create you a VTuber and I will rig it. What happened? They created the art and they put it in the background. And because of this, he got scammed. 
and the person didn't even tell them how to rig it. Or even go into full intricacy on what software could be done. I feel for my dungeon master as he went through this, and I understand what happened to him. This happens more than not. This is where you need to take a look at certain artists and how they perceive their image of their art. Seriously, when they, you make a art for a client, you need to do something of putting up a, a, a overall logo, such as prototype across the image of the art, or maybe overall your artist's name over the art, showing that you have created this and you have sold this to a client. It's no longer yours and it's up to you to hold up to that responsibility of putting your logo or even that of prototype or some uh, letters across the VTuber's art to show that you created this, it's sold, and these people can't take it. I just found this out recently with my models, and I'm going to end up applying it as such. When I finally present them in full on Twitter slash X within the next couple of weeks. Artists that don't do this either don't know they need to do this or they're scammers. It is really a slippery slope. I'm telling or figure out which one is which if they're real or fake or if they're overall just trolling in a negative fashion. Subject 12. Enjoying your fruits of labor while all you have benefited the scene and your industry, do you continue or choose to graduate? You finally feel all fulfilled. You've made it. You succeeded. You helped the industry and helped yourself by vice versa. To understand what you have now just accomplished, your next decision is, do you choose to graduate? Or do you still continue to go on? Or possibly, maybe, you go into a VTuber or overall company affiliation, such as VSojo, Hollow Live, or like, you know, Creates. I would highly suggest avoiding Nisi Sanji in general and colors. These companies have a horrible image in the industry and they really do not care about other people's overall livelihoods and accomplishments. You learn this, right? You learn all this in your research as I did. I've come to the understanding that nearly all of these industries do not end up taking my own personal health and issues and career choice in their best interest. So I choose to stay away from signing up with contracts. Why? Because this takes an understanding of yourself and what you can and can't do and who you truly are after you ask yourself the big questions. So, do you choose to continue on and entertain as much as you can, or do you choose to graduate? It really depends on your choice of what you want to do afterwards. I have been Commander D. This is been, so you want to be a VTuber, and you want to succeed at it. Thank you so much for joining me on this live stream. Always remember, never steal a VTuber's exact model. Or, like, obviously, design. Exact model or design. Never distort the art. Never distort or the lessons or content for your own selfish needs or nefarious purposes. And, most importantly, never betray a VTuber's trust or streamer in general. If you end up doing this, you'll get your butt banned. 
Don't be like the individual called Big Mike that changed his name to Lionheart, that changed his name to Wolfheart. Do not be an online stalker. Do not be like that individual. Obviously, in the long run, I wish y'all all the best to your future success and may this lesson of VTuber 101 help you in your future endeavors as a VTuber in the 3D industry or 2D, as this is a universal lesson for not only 2D VTubers, but 3D VTubers. I have been your beloved Commander D, aka Commander Devin, aka Commander Devin Lionheart. Thank you for joining me on this lesson of VTuber 101. I will see y'all on the next planet. Each and every one of you, best of luck on your future journeys. I can only teach y'all all by talking about how to succeed in this industry to the best of my abilities. See you on the gaming live stream, everyone. It'll be coming around somewhere around 3 o'clock. 2 or 3 o'clock. Bye-bye!